Russia's IL-114-300 regional turboprop aircraft is now undergoing certification tests and plans to enter the Russian domestic market in the coming years. According to the Comprehensive Program for the Development of Russia's Aviation Industry, deliveries to customers should begin in 2026, and United Aircraft Corporation plans to put 51 aircraft of this type into service by 2030. Red Wings Airlines may become the plane's first operator. The carrier's commercial director, Alexander Krutov, told a meeting in Yekaterinburg that the Omsk airport is seen as a promising base for the new aircraft. The route network for the new plane may include Nishnevartovsk, Novokuznetsk, and Astana, the capital of Kazakhstan. The choice of Omsk is explained by the presence of the Engine Building Association in the city which is involved in producing the TV-7117ST01 engines that power the plane. Also, at the Omsk airport, the possibility of creating an engine service center for these aircraft at the ODK Enterprise is being discussed. The plane is a modern and comfortable aircraft, which is a strategic project for the Russian aviation industry. The AN-24 turboprop aircraft, which it is replacing, was discontinued at the Kiev aircraft plant in 1979, long before the collapse of the USSR. The IL-114 itself was built for some time at the Tashkent Chkalov Aviation Production Association. In short, Russia has not produced a turboprop domestic passenger aircraft for more than 50 years, since the end of IL-18 production in the late 60s. Let's talk about the IL-114-300 aircraft in detail. On March 31, 2024, the Russian United Aircraft Corporation disclosed that the second experimental aircraft flew from the airport of Lukovitsi Aircraft Plant for the first time. This aircraft is also the first of its kind to be newly built. The flight lasted 40 minutes and reached altitudes of up to 900 meters at speeds of up to 230 kilometers per hour. It should be noted that United Aircraft Corporation has been trying to resume manufacturing the IL-114 aircraft in its updated form since 2014. The new regional turboprop passenger plane is expected to have a flight range of up to 4,800 kilometers with a load of 1,000 kilograms and 3,250 kilometers with 1,000 kilogram, with a maximum fuel reserve of up to 5,600 kilometers. The highest fuel reserves will result in an hourly fuel usage of 550 kilograms. The aircraft can carry up to 64 passengers. It is powered by two TVD TV7117ST and engines, each capable of producing 2,500 horsepower. The maximum takeoff weight is 23.5 tons, and the maximum payload is 6,500 kilograms. The cruise speed is 500 kilometers per hour, and the cruising altitude is 7,600 meters. The aircraft can take off and land within 1,350 meters. During the testing, the aircraft's stability and controllability were assessed, and the reliability of Russian systems and equipment most of which are made by Rostec state corporation firms. Illusion is the aircraft developer, and the final assembly is taking place at the Lukovitsi, Moscow region plant. The IL-114-300 aircraft is made up of Russian components with various United Aircraft Company firms cooperating. The aircraft design data has been digitized, and a digital model of the aircraft has been generated. The new regional aircraft has enhanced flight and technical characteristics, made greater use of composite materials, and features a new digital piloting and navigation system. Almost all primary aircraft systems have been updated, focusing on increasing crew cabin ergonomics. The regional passenger aircraft has a maximum seating capacity of 68. It will replace the AN-24 on domestic airlines. This aircraft can fly independently from relatively modest aerodromes with both concrete and unpaved surfaces. Furthermore, it is designed for use in Arctic climates. The aircraft's engine has undergone several improvements. A new auxiliary power unit, TA-14114, has also been fitted, giving the aircraft autonomy during service and preparation for flying at poorly equipped airfields. The aircraft engine is a new development of the St. Petersburg company Klimov. It was certified in December 2022. The power plant has improved power in takeoff mode and also has a new AV112-114 propeller with a thrust of 4 tons. At the MAKS 2017 Airshow, State Transport Leasing Company, GTLK, 
signed an agreement with the United Aircraft Corporation to purchase 50 IL-114-300 aircraft, the first three of which were to be delivered in 2020. In 2021, United Aircraft stated its aim to certify the plane by the fall of 2023 and begin serial production with 12 aircraft per year, beginning in 2025. However, the program has evolved into a long-term project with dubious prospects, aggravated by the troublesome nature of the TV-7117ST engine series. The first experimental prototype was a modified IL-114 aircraft, built in 1994 by the Tashkent Aviation Production Association. Since 2016, the aircraft has been converted in the hangar of the Aleutian branch in Zhukovsky into an IL-114-300 prototype, receiving, among other things, new engines and new onboard equipment, including the Digital Navigation Piloting Complex CNPK-114M2, and made its first flight in Zhukovsky on December 16, 2020. However, tests were halted in August 2021 due to the crash of an experimental IL-112V military transport aircraft equipped with the identical TV-7117ST engines. The Federal Air Transport Agency issued a type certificate for the TV-7117ST-01 turboprop engine at the end of December 2022, stating it is now ready. The IL-114-300 construction program includes PJSC VASO, which produces various critical airframe components, such as wings and empennage with mechanization, engine nacelles, etc. VASO will manufacture 42% of the airframe aggregates for the aircraft. The Aviastar SP company in Ulyanovsk manufactures fuselage panels for the aircraft. The Nizhny Novgorod aircraft plant Sokol produces the fuselage fairings built in Ulyanovsk. Nizhny Novgorod will manufacture approximately 40% of the aggregates and units for the IL-114-300 aircraft. Do you think Russia will be able to put IL-114-300 in production with entirely domestic parts? We bring you some good information on aerospace. Let us know in the comments. Please like and share the video and subscribe the channel.